Hello and welcome to the Christmas edition 2022 on the Slingshot channel. <laughs> I got a little bored waiting for the guests for tonight's dinner and therefore I decided to give you guys a quick a quick little update since the weather has turned dry now and it's actually really mild here in Germany at least. I know you guys in the US are suffering from the cold. In any case, I have some great new 3D pr printed things that I've uh, shown to you yesterday in my live chat already and uh, today is time to show you how these things shoot. So stay tuned. And we are beginning with this really really cool new ball shooting uh, crossbow which is completely 3D printed and um, I put the download file for you down there so you can print this uh, by yourself. It's called the sling hammer. That's the sling hammer. I love the design. I think it's a really really pretty uh, crossbow and also uh, you can fill in 8 millimeter steel balls. You can actually see them inside here. You can put up to uh, 60 of them into the magazine and you can put like pretty much any pistol crossbow bow limb set on here and you can even exchange it very easily without taking the string off. Now I've even equipped this with the uh, really powerful AR6 Stinger Pro uh, limb set which is a 90 pound crossbow limb set. It's, a, it's really a lot for the uh, lightweight 2 gram 8 millimeter steel balls but it's a lot of fun. And it has some features that I really really love. For example the locking feature. So this one does not completely lock. It does not require you from releasing any handle. It just has some kind of a, you know, like a slip joint I would call it, like a slip joint on a knife. So it holds by itself. You can cock it and not do anything with it. So I can at any time just simply cock it like so, like so, and then it's ready to shot, to be shot. But as you see it holds. So I can, I can shoot now, switch on the red dot and shoot. <laughs> and if I want to shoot again I can simply just do this again without touching anything. Just and I can shoot again. Woo! <laughs> and it's, so it's really really quick shooting. As you see it even handles the 90 pound, the heaviest bow limb set that you can get for the pistol crossbows. You can handle this with ease. Now if you want to go for slow you can also use the longer lever and then it's child's play. So you can very very simply do this. Oops. <laughs> but of course I prefer going fast like so and then shoot. Bing! <laughs> Talking about power you can see that it created some nice little dimples into the firewood here. So it's hardwood. <laughs> but can it penetrate a water filled dog food can? We'll find out. Boop. Yeah it obviously can. <laughs> Yep, clean penetration and actually the steel ball is in there. There it is, ready to be reused. <laughs> I love recycling. Simply open it up, pop it in, close it again and you're back in business. Okay, let's find out how fast it actually shoots and we'll shoot it over the FX Vada Cremoni and hopefully see the result soon. The uh, balls weigh 2.06 grams. Eighty meters per second. And seventy eight meters per second. Let's do one third. And seventy eight. So it's about 79 meters per second on average. Let's figure out how many joules that are. So that is about 6.4 joules. So it would be well legal as an air gun in Germany. But I guess if uh, the designer chooses to go higher and larger in uh, caliber uh, so that he achieves the same weight like a bolt, the joule number will go up very significantly. I think this could have over 20 joules if he would use like a 12 or 13 millimeter steel ball for sure. And I think he'll will, he will eventually do that. Since he was wondering if it's legal, but it is because it's a crossbow, therefore the seven and a half joule limit in Germany is not relevant here. Okay, next we have a prototype 
of the upcoming V3 of the Mini Adder, designed by Faramir. It's also completely 3D printed and it has the typical features like the folding stock, you know, so... And it now even comes with uh, 3D printable iron sights, quote-unquote, even though of course you can still perfectly install your red dot. You have all the features like the fast repeating and so on, but now you have something that's really interesting because you have exchangeable magazines. Yes, magazines are quick exchangeable. So six shots in the mag, but you can very quickly exchange them. That's so cool. Let me show you. Okay, so first what you do is you have this little ring here, and if you pull it, then the thing is ready for action. You can put this in your pocket or even attach it with a piece of string to the crossbow. And now I can shoot away. Typical very fast shooting. Oops, okay, I had only five uh, shots loaded in, so my bad, <laughs> sorry for this. Now if you want to exchange the magazine, you got this lever here, and it's actually on the other side too. So if you press on this lever, you can clap this open, take out the magazine, then you take a new magazine, pop it right in, like so, close it, and pull the little ring here, and I can continue shooting. And this time I think I do have six shots in here. <laughs> oh, that was six shots. <laughs> Sorry for that. <laughs> and now, of course, I can... I need to learn counting. I think it's embarrassing. So I can, of course, now go back and install another magazine here, like so. Okay, pull the ring, put it in my pocket, and keep shooting away. And uh, yes, this time we have um, one, two, three, four, I think we only got five in here. Okay, so I'll be a bit more careful this time. And bang. <laughs> it's so cool, isn't it? <laughs> Well, it's still a prototype, so you can't yet download it, but you should be able to download it really soon. I'll keep you updated, so if you want to subscribe to my Facebook, you'll see it. Now, this third 3D printed invention, I really want to show it to you because it's based on the uh, Instant Lego Lini um, that I've shown to you a while ago. So many people wanted it in the version with uh, a real bow limb set and not just rubber, and uh, but it, it never materialized. So. Uh, never was turned into a product. But now a gentleman from out of Denmark has sent me this, his version of it. And he actually used exactly what I would have done, longer bow limbs, so they give you an easy draw, but still quite some power. And uh, of course, you also have the sideways handle, so you can very easily hold this, and you can hold it in outstretched condition, of course. You have a magazine for arrows, and these arrows are actually, yeah, I'd say they're probably like 20 centimeters, so they're longer than adder uh, arrows, but not as long as uh, RX ad uh, arrows. And it shoots quite well, I think. So, can shoot instinctively, of course. Bang, chick, chick, bang, chick, chick, bang, chick, chick, bang, and one more. <laughs> a lot of fun. And he even installed a sighting system, but I have to say I haven't sighted it in yet. Okay, let's reload. So this is one of the arrows. As you see, it's longer than an, ar an adder arrow, but it's actually quite nice. So I can easily snap this open, simply grabbing it sideways here at the springs, the spring loaded, and then I can very easily load in my arrows. Okay, so nice and smooth. All right, one more. Okay, and then I can close this again, snap it shut, and I'm back in business. What I love about this, what's really new, is that you can turn the handle. So, so yes, I can just bring it to the front, of course, and I can draw it out. But a lot of people want to shoot it just like a normal bow, so in this con uh, situation. But you can also turn it, you can also go halfway, or you can go outside if you wanted to. Not sure why you wanted that. But this gives you complete flexibility. It's something that I should have done, but never did. <laughs> Let's check how the sights work. Go for the middle one. Okay, that was a little high. So I go for the lower one, short distance. Yeah, that works. Pretty good accuracy, I would say. 
Yeah. Really accurate. So he thinks about bringing this into production. And I believe that it needs to be beautified a little bit. You know, like attaching uh, Picatinny rails for red dot sides and maybe even a laser, since that is legal in Germany here, for a bow. Um, but I also think that this needs to be black and the, this here needs to be more ergonomic. Even though it's, it's not bad, it's just, it just doesn't really look super cool. <laughs> this needs to be more like a war weapon, I think. <laughs> but other than that, I really like it. It's easy, and plus also, I love how it handles that you can turn it around like whatever you want. So specifically for home defense, I think this is perfect because it's small. It is, you can easy, easily go wherever you want to go. It's never in the way and uh, it also has decent power. What I also love is how easily you can collapse it. You simply just squeeze it out like so. And then you can take the limbs out on both sides and then stow it away very, very easily. And if you need to reassemble it, it's the same process in reverse. So you put this one limb set here, put the other one here. Okay, stretch this out, and connect it, and there we are. <laughs> connect it easily like so. And we're back in business. <laughs> it's so much fun. It's like we always can never really stop doing that. <laughs> so he thinks about selling it for 100 euros and I think it would probably end up more like 150 euros. Would you buy something like this? I mean beautify it and uh, maybe a little more power or adjustable power maybe. And uh, or black of course. <laughs> would you buy it? Let me know in the comments. And by the way I just found out that you can absolutely also use adder bolts. So it's really simple. <laughs> okay, bang. Yeah, five adder bolts, no problem. In any case, I hope you like this because now it is time for me to go and change into something more formal and then wait for the guests to arrive and enjoy the wonderful food that my wife is gonna prepare for us. <laughs> so have a wonderful Christmas. Really, I wish you all the best for next year, should we not see each other again. Thanks and bye-bye. Ow, bang, kitty, bang, kitty, bang, kitty, bang, kitty. Ha 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 ha.